What is going on guys? Platinum B is coming at you with yet another video. Today we are going to be talking about buying platinum based on collectability alone. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm sure by the title of the video and what I mentioned in the beginning, you are wondering, collectability only, Platinum Beast, what are you talking about? I thought you were a stacker. I thought that this is a stacking community. Like, what are you talking about collectability only? All right, so Platinum sits in a very interesting place. Because not a lot of people view this metal the same way they view gold and silver. And so a lot of people are hesitant to get into this metal because they are worried about its volatility and its future values and things like that. But I want to kind of talk about the collectability of platinum and why that can help its case overall. So, platinum is a precious metal. We have covered that in this channel and we've talked about that. But I want to talk about collect the collector side of things and the collectability of platinum and why that can help secure your investment in platinum. So, platinum is unique in that its mintage numbers are always extremely low. If silver was minted, at the numbers platinum was people would go nuts in fact they no one would be able to get the coins and they'd pay way over spot but because silver eagles silver maples things like that are minted by the millions they're easy to come by you know the dealer runs out they'll get some more like it's not a big deal no worries but platinum no matter what coin you get really is gonna be a fairly low mintage take for instance the platinum eagle you know, its mintage is so low that the dealers sell previous years for more than they sell the current year, which goes against gold and silver selling. When you buy gold and silver eagles, you pay more for the current year than you do the random year typically. Gold might be kind of similar to platinum, but silver definitely is the exact same or uh, is the exact opposite where if you want random year eagles you'll pay less if you want current year eagles you'll pay more it's only a little bit when you consider silver but that's a thing to look at is that you'll always pay more for a previous year platinum eagle than you will the current year platinum eagle the reason for that is the mintage numbers are so low no matter what year you look at they are low and so the dealers charge more. Now, because dealers charge more for previous year eagles, Platinum, Queen's Beasts, and other series like the Lunar series and things like that are even lower mintage because they are only minted basically once, Platinum, the Platinum version, and when they sell out, they sell out. The thing about these Platinum Queen's Beasts is if you try to find, say, this Platinum Queen's Beast Unicorn, you won't find it. You won't find it for sale anywhere. Why? Because they're not making anymore. They only made a very limited few. They don't release the mintage numbers, at least they haven't yet, but it's plainly obvious. These things are impossible to find. That is because they only minted, again, a limited few. It, that's just how it is. And so if you want this, you're going to have to wait around until some dealer finally gets some in, probably from someone selling them the Queen's Beast Unicorn or them just, you know, buying out a coin shop and it just happened to have one or something like that. But what does that mean for someone like me who has this Queen's Beast Unicorn? Well, I can list it online for sale 
and I can list really any price I want. And if somebody wants it bad enough, they will pay the price. And so obviously that is a heavily collector's thing, right? That's not guaranteed. If I want to sell silver at spot right now, somebody will buy it and I'll have money in my hand within a few hours probably. But on the collector side, you have to wait for that perfect buyer to come in and say, hey, I want that coin. I've been looking for it for a while and I'll pay your price, right? So there is a downside to stacking platinum for its collectability. But in my opinion, it only really helps the overall value of platinum in that its minage numbers are so low. Its minage numbers are growing over time and more and more mints are beginning to mint platinum into coins and bars and things like that. But overall, the collectability side of platinum only helps secure your overall investment of your hard-earned money into this metal. Because there will always be a collector side to this stacking and bullion and coin market. There, there just will, you know. They sell proof coins for collectors. They sell limited mintage, mint marks, all kinds of stuff for collectors. So there will always be a coin collecting side to this community. Some people consider themselves somewhere in the middle of stacking and coin collecting. Some people are just straight stackers. Some people are just straight collectors. But there will always be a collector side. Now, this doesn't the collector side goes away when the world comes to an end. A lot of people like talking about SHTF and stuff like that. I don't really like to think about that, not because I'm worried about it or because it just doesn't sound like something very fun to think about, but I don't know. I, I just find it hard to really believe like the end of the world is, is coming soon. If it is, then it's just the end of the world, right? Um, the strong will live, the weak will die, and you know the world will end. And so, uh, but I just have a hard time seeing that actually happening, right? There was the Great Depression, which most people alive today didn't even live through. But even that was not the end of the world. That was just a very, very, very rough time. There was also the economic crash of 2008, which was also a rough time. But I was not quite an adult yet. I was about 16 in 08, 17 in 09, something like that. And so... I didn't really experience much of that economic downturn either. I am experiencing what's going on right now a little bit, but I think we will be able to bounce back fairly easily. I think this is a very temporary thing. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk about the collectability of platinum. You know, platinum has a big collector's market. People collect this stuff rather than just stack it. They collect it and they know it's got value from its metal, but they also just are collectors, right? Um, to any real market, you know, you can really split any kind of hobby market into that kind of category. You know, some people will buy stuff in a certain hobby for collectors, ability, right? Like baseball cards or, um, you know, toy cars or whatever. And they'll spend lots of money on highly collectible or rare stuff. And then you have some people who just like collecting as much as possible. So they'll buy every new car they see, little Hot Wheels or a little baseball card or whatever. And they just want the most. Some people value quantity. Some people value quality. Platinum has a very high quality to the collector's market, right? Silver and gold. There are collector's pieces to silver and gold, don't get me wrong, but it's much more of a stacking thing, whereas platinum is much more of a collectability thing. I had someone comment on my video, I apologize, I do not remember who it was, saying that platinum has a much stronger collector's following than gold and silver and that would be true in my opinion because of its minage numbers are so low 
But I personally think that the world is beginning to see platinum more and more every day as an investment metal and something you can put your money in and store value and wealth and things like that. But today I just wanted to talk about the collector side, why that's beneficial to platinum and how that can benefit you in deciding on whether or not you want to stack platinum. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in future videos. Until next time, we will see you.